Hi, I'm David with Smartscapes LLC here in Nashville, Tennessee. And we, we have an early spring morning and we're going to be talking about how to control erosion in landscaping. Erosion in landscaping is a huge problem. It's something that everybody runs into. And especially on a property like this that we're standing on, there's about five acres of land that the water comes down and through here. So there's several different ways that we control the erosion here on this property and I'm going to show you how we do it. First off, we put in a drain system that runs the perimeter of the back side of the house. And we hid some of the drains in the landscaping over in here. There's a surface drain right over here that is basically the low spot of this area. So when water does come in, it has a tendency to go that way. When it goes in that way, it collects in that drain and then it runs off. Another issue that you have with erosion in your landscape is sometimes the dirt or mulch will wash off. And we have an area over here beside the pondless waterfall that we have concern with. And so we planted some cotoneaster along the side of it. The cotoneaster not only loves the water of the waterfall, but it also helps protect the ground and keep it from moving. Another way that you can help control your erosion in your landscape is by mulching. You got any number of mulches that you can use. Pine needles, shredded hardwood, pine bark mulch, it doesn't do as well. It has a tendency to wash. And then you have any number of aggregates that you can find locally, whether it's uh, river rock or whatever other small rock you want to landscape with. And we'll show you a couple different places where it was important for us to use a little heavier mulch, like an aggregate, to be able to control erosion. Another way that we'll try to control erosion in landscapes is by using rocks. Now, over here at the Pondless Waterfall, that's a huge example of it. It not only looks natural, but we're also holding the earth back with these big boulders that are so heavy that the earth can't push it over. So that's another great example of how to, how to control erosion in a landscape. We do it with boulders and stuff all the time, and it doesn't actually have to be a waterfall or a pondless waterfall or whatever, but we use large aggregates to help control erosion in landscape as well. Now up here, we have a totally different dynamic of what we're experiencing before. Up here, it's the upper patio that's above the waterfall. And what we're finding happening up here is we have a large area of impermeable surface that it needs to be able to run off and flow. So what's very important in, in doing erosion control is to be able to make it look like it was natural, like it was there. And everything should have at least one purpose, if not three. Now, for example, we made like a dry riverbed that ran off this flagstone patio up here. Now this flagstone patio has boulders for a fire pit, river boulders for a fire pit. So we had to figure out a way to get rid of this water and so we made this dry creek bed that runs off over and through here. A lot of the water goes off over and through there, but also we found a great way to replenish the pondless water, waterfall with rainwater. So we have part of the grade going over into the pondless waterfall over there as well. And what it does is it marries up a great way to take the rainwater, reduce erosion, and put it to use in your landscapes. Over here, you'll find that we use another method of erosion control, and we use some juniper. And basically, they're a ground cover and they're a spreader. What they're gonna do is they're gonna, that root system's gonna get in there and it's gonna hold that earth in place because we have two different levels that we're dealing with over here. We don't want that earth moving. And the juniper is going to do a great job of holding that earth in place so we don't have to worry about that. Good design would not only serve the purpose of erosion control, but also make it aesthetically pleasing and look like it's meant to be there. Again, I'm David with Smartscapes LLC. Thanks for watching our video.